So uh, that was deliberate. I'm a party builder, a home builder. <laughs> what is your number one advice to keep motivated, stay motivated during this time? This is definitely 15 kilos. I put my money on it. <laughs> Maybe 12. <laughs> So looking for some some piping, we need a bar for our dumbbells and for our barbells and we're going to need some concrete. I'm a little bit impatient because I want to get this video out so we're going to look for some fast drying concrete. We're going to need maybe some buckets as molds for our weights so uh, look, look what we have right here. This might be perfect because with the concrete at either end this might just be the perfect size for our grip. So we're gonna go with a really strong industrial concrete here. Um, you don't need to add anything to this. It will just take some time to set. We'll have to just water it and prep it daily, but I think this is gonna be the best bet for us. We're going for a 50 kilogram bag, and we'll be able to get a variety of different size weights for this on TikTok. Oh my God. So if you look, we do like just short videos. Um, this is like a home workout video. Look at the mummies. <laughs> oh man, the living the life. <laughs> huh? I'll just say as soon as the videos come in. How does it feel living the life, man? Some people dream of. Uh, you have to do yeah. the work dedication, I do understand, yes. Every day, look like every day, I mean, we work because I have obviously a day job too. I have a software development company. And then, see, we just do like little short videos like this, just showing different exercises. Obviously, this is more cardio. And then, this is a home leg workout. Oh, yeah. I like so, how to grow your legs from home. Put it on your legs, bro. Yeah. So, it's, it, it shows you the different muscles. So, basically, what we want to do is educate for free, you know. Yes. So we're just helping people through these quick one minute videos and then if they want to know more in-depth stuff like this video here is for youtube so we'll do a little we'll do a little snippet like a little segment for tiktok okay. just to show them what it's about and then they can go to youtube and they can watch the full but video what is, what is your number one advice to keep motivated to stay motivated during this time you know to stay motivated consistency i think a lot of a lot of people try they don't see the results and then they're just so quick to give it up you know yeah, um cool. You don't see the, the results in yourself as, as quick as other people do, you yes. know? But if you keep up the consistency with your, with your training, especially your eating. Like yeah. people, uh, eating is, is underrated in the, in the eyes of a lot of people, but like fundamentally, it's one of the most important things that you can do. Oh, towards so income. 70% is diet. So 30%, you can gym for four or five hours, but that's useless. It's useless. If you're not getting your food, if you're not getting the nutrition, it's, it's pointless. For me, I say, I say 100% is training and 100% is food. You know what I mean? I don't like to work on that split of 70, but, but in theory, yes, if you're not getting the correct food and nutrition, then going to the gym is somewhat... Okay. Thanks so much, brother. Thank you so much for yeah. being a celebrity. <laughs> hey man, the best, man. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ruan. Yeah, man, so that was Ruan. Ruan works as the health and safety of the risk manager. And he was alerted to us filming everything in the process, but turns out hell of a nice guy very supportive and uh, gained a follower and he's um, supported me on my journey to Olympia no one's missing so we're at the plastic store next door and we are getting the appropriate jar or bucket sizes in order to calculate our accurate weight so this is a three kilo jar so three kilos would equal seven and a half kilograms of concrete. So times two and our dumbbell should be around 15 kilograms in total. Turns out you need sand and aggregate to make concrete. I'm a bodybuilder, not a builder, not a home builder. <laughs> so, so don't do what I'm doing, but we just came to a nearby abandoned partially developed home and uh, we found some sand but from your building supply maybe when you're getting the bag of concrete just get a small bag of uh, sand stone and aggregate um, turns out you actually get ready to mix bags and not a 50 kilogram like we bought 
but uh, you learn as you go along. So on our hunt for some sand and stone, we came across this abandoned mansion. Uh, we're going to take a look around and show you guys. This. Well, I found the violin pool. Fuck no. That is so unnecessary. <laughs> oh. Watering the flowers. So thanks to this place, we've got everything we need for our dumbbells. So we have everything we need. We have our poles, we have our containers, we have our cement mix. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a four pound hammer. I'm just gonna beat the ends flat on this to create a bit of a V-shape so that it doesn't pull out from the concrete. So we try to cut the plastic, it's a little bit hard. We try to cut it with a scissor, didn't exactly work. So switching over to the saw, and uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to do the job. Pretty straight. So the correct mixing ratio is two parts sand to one part concrete. I'm using my containers that we got to make the mold for the weights just to get the correct uh, mixing ratio. And then we're going to put it into old rusty over here and uh, add some water, mix it up, put them back in the molds. Add your sand and the concrete into the wheelbarrow. You can do this on a flat surface and uh, gradually add water. Just start with a little bit, mix it together and then just start topping it up with more and more water. Try and find a flat enough surface and uh, put it somewhere where obviously it's not gonna get disrupted or bumped and uh, center your pole as much as possible. Let it sit. Bah. So it's been exactly 24 hours. The concrete is hardened and we are now gonna get started on mixing up our second batch of concrete so that we can do the second part of the weight. We're gonna have to balance it against the wall in a corner so that it sets properly. So I've mixed up a second batch of cement. I'm gonna fill the mold. Then we have to wait another 24 hours and finally we can start lifting. So uh, that was deliberate because I wanted to get some uh, grass in there, some aesthetics, going for that organic green effect on the weights. So what I'm doing here is just tapping out any air bubbles. We realized this from a failed attempt on our first one. Okay, slightly off center. Okay, so using my master engineering skills, I very strategically positioned the wheelbarrow in such a way that it's wedged the top half of the weight into the corner, the cloth purposefully placed so that it is just perfectly aligned in the second mold so that it dries in place. Day three, each side of our weight um, has been able to set for 24 hours. So if you didn't catch my previous video, we got some gym equipment here, which is going to a gym which we're gonna set up in Cyprus. So conveniently, we found a weight rack and the only weight we have on there is our super trendy concrete homemade dumbbell. That's actually really nice. The bar, the grip is quite small, so it fits in the hand quite comfortably. Um, it's a bit wide. I suppose you could go with a bit of a shorter base and a little bit wider this is definitely 15 kilos 
I'll put my money on it. <laughs> I don't even know if it's 15. I reckon this is 12. 12. 12. Okay. Or 10. It's not that heavy. <laughs> Can I do a curl? Do it. Mm. Jesus. Okay. Maybe 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with 15 on this one. Let's find out. Yeah. It's just shy of 11. Just shy of 11. So homemade weight, massive success. I only made the one dumbbell, but why don't you guys give it a bash, do some barbells, um, make yourself some different weighted dumbbells. Post them onto Instagram, tag me in your stories. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. It really supports what you're doing and promotes the channel.